Dang. Nah, you better not go for a joy ride in my car. Can I please? Because I can build all my fists all the way up because I ain't got no nails on, so I'll fight you. Go for a joy ride if you want to. So we are getting ready to go on x -Thorn with Jasmine and another PayPal and her boyfriend. So this is what we're wearing. I chose to be comfortable because my arms are already hurt and I just want to be comfortable. So I'm wearing um, this t-shirt that I got from one of the PayPal. She sent me um, this bad and bougie shirt. I'm going to link it below because I got so many stuff I forgot who sent what. Um, I think this shirt came from Sugar Glow, if I'm not mistaken. Sugar Glow Creations. And then I have on my joggers from Tracy. Just some um, cool socks, I think these are called. And then these shoes are Chanel. And I got them from highkicks.ru. So they're super cute and super comfortable. So this is the look for x -Thorn. And we're gonna see how good we are at that. And here go Jasmine. It's warm outside. You see Jasmine got her legs out, honey. She got them thighs out. <laughs> see, it's looking real cute. You. you ready to go? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So me and Jazz are about to go in. Final. Throw some X's. You ever did this before? I haven't. You look so pretty. Thank you. What you doing after the years? You got a little know. date or whatever? I really don't. <laughs> <laughs> I was dressed for just in case. Just in case. Mm, he's not all that he seems. You remember that on Fire Heartbeats? Ma'am, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so... You did? Mm -hmm. I hope they got drinks there. Cause you need some? I do. I need a drink. And if they don't, little... then we'll just have to go to a bar after this or something. Because, ooh, child. Okay, so remember we were talking about Cracker Bear. You know, everybody getting nicknames. <laughs> Cracker Bear. So <clears throat> maybe Cracker Bear gone already, honey. Oh, no. It's them damn Scorpios. Scorpios is just not for me. I, I, I truly believe that it. it's, it's, it's never going to work with a Scorpio for me. And it's so crazy because every time I meet a Scorpio, they're so in tune with astrology. They always tell me that Scorpio and Pisces are like 100% compatible, which we are. Like all of my Scorpio, all the Scorpios in my life are like this. We like mm -hmm. this. We like best friends. But I would never date them because some just don't click. Some just don't click right in their head. So this man, girl, I'm talking about the the whole week was absolutely romantic. It was mm -hmm. very intimate. Like he getting me in my feelings because you know, I, when I go into a situation with a Scorpio, <clears throat> I'm super like reserved and um, guarded just because I know like this could be this could be all wrong. Mm -hmm. So I always consider that. And don't you forget. You mean to tell me that you reminded me to bring my phone and I still forget it? <laughs> Did you? What? Yeah. We can rewind and take it back. <clears throat> <laughs> All right, guys, so my name, my name is Ben. I'll be your axe learning instructor today. So have any of you guys ever been axe learning before? Mm -hmm. No, first time? All right, so welcome, guys. So right here we have the four different lines. We have the yellow, the blue, the red. If you're throwing the axe, you stand on this side, the yellow. If you're not, you stand on that side, just so we don't have an accident. <laughs> Some people like to throw between the blue and the black, but most people like to throw between the black and the red. But if you're throwing the axe, just don't throw past it because the axe can't bounce back. But I'm teaching you guys how to throw an axe, so you guys will be sticking to every throw. 
So we have two different ways to throw the axe. We have the two-handed way, which is good for beginners, or we have the one-handed way if you guys, you guys want to go right into it. With the two-handed way, you want to stop it on top, and you want to reach back over the top of your head, not over your shoulders, because the axe will come in at a weird angle and it won't stick. You want to put your weak foot forward, strong foot back, over the top of your head. And when you're about to throw, you want to take a step with your strong foot, take your step, reach out as far front as you can, and just let go. You want a firm grip on the axe, not too tight, not too loose. Too tight, it'll stick to your hand and go to the tires. Too loose, it'll slip out of your hand and go to the turf. So it looks something like this. If you just want to follow me right up here. I got a three, usually if we cut the line, if it splits it, we like to go to the higher number, that's how we like to play it. And if the axe is good, stuck in there, just so you're not struggling, just grab out the bottom and push up. It'll pop right out. Okay, woo! Seems like you guys all got it. So if you guys just need any help, just come find me and I'll help you guys out. And you guys are all good to start. So, you guys can put it however order you guys want. Just real quick, I'll always do it. You guys just have your names and then just so you guys don't have to deal with those scores already in there. Just push clear scores and we'll go right away. Okay. I hope you guys are all good to start. Thank you. Yeah, it's time for you to take one, isn't it? I gotta make it look a little 
us conspicuous. <laughs> so cheers. Cheers. This is your shot right here. Okay, I'm gonna take it. to go to brunch with Jazzy. So this is the look. It's cute. I'm feeling it. I put my bracelets on. <clears throat> so this is what I'm wearing to brunch. The top is from Shein and the jeans are bodacious bodywear jeans i will have everything linked in the description box 
don't know what shoes I'm gonna wear yet. Kinda wanna wear some sandals. What does it feel like outside? So it's a little chilly outside today. And y'all can see Rihanna's um, mascara is pretty good. So I am starting to peel around my nose and getting really dry. But yeah, this is what we're wearing. Hey, Siri! Siri! You know, um, hey, Siri. Hey, Siri. Give me the directions to Crab House Seafood in Oyster Bar. Getting directions to Crab House Seafood and Oyster Bar. Jasmine already there. Why I can't never be on damn time? Ooh. Oh, this where she talking about? They be having um parties here all the time. Hey, can I park myself or you gotta park me? I'm gonna park you, ma'am. Are you? Are you mocking me? You mocking me? I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I just want you to laugh. Ha ha ha, I'm laughing. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'll let you park. I'll let you pork me. Okay. How much is your, uh... Can I go for a gyroid with this vehicle, ma'am? A what? Gyroid. Gyroid. Gyroid? Go for a two-hour drive and come back. Oh, joyride. Joyride, there you go. Joyride. I'm still learning my English. Yeah, you so sure live. Okay, uh... Pardon. <laughs> no, you better not go for a joyride in my car. Can I please? Because I can ball my fist all the way up because I ain't got no nails on, so I'll fight you. Go for a joyride if you want to. <laughs> okay. So be prepared for a fight, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> was good. I mean, it's a little runchy, you know what I'm saying? It's a little red, runchy and rich <laughs> It ain't like upscale, but we can't go upscale oh, no. every time we go out to eat. I, I mean, it's, it is what it is. There was some place called The Mansion that I wanted to try, but it looked ritzy. We'd have to be like <clears throat> dressed on our best shit. Yeah. Like. Some of these packages. This is from 
Blue Lace Collection. Sway. That's cute. And then a burgundy turtleneck crop top. So this is from Alicia Gilliam, the owner. And this is the card, Blue Lace Collection. And this is the info. Thank you, Alicia. And she sent me a brown lip liner. I just keep losing range, y'all. Okay, so this is Hayden. Came across your videos during quarantine. I've been a PayPal since. You're so awesome and crazy. Laugh out loud. I love that you meet your pals. I wish you all the best in life. Ramona, P.S. I love when you sing. Oh. Thank you, sis. I'm a little shy. Like, if y'all ask me to, like, bust out, too. Like, in person, I'd be shy and I won't be able to do it. Like, like my voice started like cracking up and stuff. He got a mind of his own. It's good to do. You know what? I wanted this bag. This is so freaking cute, girl. Thank you. Ooh. 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 Got me some more glasses. These glasses look like they match the bag. Do I look like I can sing? You're my angel. Do, do, do. Oh, angel. Do, 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 do. If I had a little uh, violin in case, would y'all drop some money in it? You're my angel. Do, 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 do. Oh, that go to Gloss. This is from She's Extra website. So somebody sent me some chocolate covered blueberries. Ooh, let's give this a whirl, child. I ain't never heard of this before. If it tastes, but if it tastes like raisinets, I'm with it. in that bag won't last a day girl that motherfuckers gonna be gone by the end of the day thank you I want to say Ludley sent me though yep Yep. Thank you, lovely. My long lost sister, y'all. All right. What, what do we have here? This is from Styles of Tasha Collection. It's in a vacuum seal bag, which helps it, you know, minimize the shape of the bag. But look, these are slippers. My my feet just slide in. It's cute little teddy bear slippers, but they're different. Mm, now I got 
got two little twin puppies. Thank you, sis. He's gonna be real jealous of me about her. <laughs> Baby, when they come up here, they you he, he thought I was bougie with my with my um custom made coasters. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> you thought I was bougie then, yeah, bitch. When you walk in and see them teddy bear slippers, you gonna know not to play with me. <laughs> you gonna know not to waste my time. And they red, they mesh, they mesh my decor in my house. Stop playing with me. Uh oh. So this is sis's uh contact information and website. Okay, it says Hi Peyton, I can't wait to meet you in person. I live in Arlington. In the meantime, I hope you love these items. Keep being you from one baddie to another, Kimmy Claus. And this is her website information and a coupon code for you. Okay, so oh this is cute, Kimmy. Okay, she sent me a gold butterfly necklace. Kurt, <laughs> but wait, there's more. She sent me a gold Pisces necklace. Come on, come on, get my neck together. And she sent me a gold necklace with a P. Then I got a whole bunch of sunnies. Black lips, maybe red lips. She sent these purple glasses. The green. The leopard. The red. Everything is red right now. It looks like the world about to end. It looks pretty scary behind these frames, but they're so cool. Found these. Uh huh, uh huh. Burgundy. Thank you so much, sis. Those some cute glasses. Stay tuned. I know one thing. By the end of the year, I'm gonna have some sunnies for every day of it. Remember, by the end of the year, I'm gonna have 365 per glass. I know that much. This is from Envied Queens Boutique. And that is her. Oh, this is in a large. I can't fit this. She sent me a nude jumpsuit. But it's in a large. I can't fit that. Oh, Lord. She sent me everything in a large. Hmm. This whole, um, hmm. This whole set don't have to go to somebody else. I can't fit it. Oh, I'm gonna have to send it back to her. She sent me a Bluetooth piece set. Yep, she sent everything in a large. And this zebra one piece, but everything's in a large. I can't fit it. I'm gonna have to <clears throat> send it back. Let's see if we can switch it out. Then we got something from Naked Basics. It says, hi, Peyton. It was great speaking with you on Instagram. I followed and enjoyed your content for quite some time. Keep being fab and giving us PayPal's. Hmm. I don't know what that's saying. I'm going to say last, but I don't think that's what it says. I hope you enjoy these pieces I, I included in this package. is our Coco Noir bandage dress, size small. 
our unveiled monokini in size small and the dreamy monokini also in a size small hope you love it as much as we do naked basics on ig She sent that in black and white. I would have to try it on so y'all can see it. And then she sent this cute bed, bed bandage dress. Woo, baby, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so this monokini, this black one, this will be cute to wear with my sweat. I got some merch now, you guys. So, y'all have inspired me. All my PayPal's got their businesses and clothing lines and, you know, y'all have inspired me. So, I got some PayPal merches, merchandise on the way one of them is my sweats i have joggers the material is really really good on these like men y'all would love them and then on the elastic band it just says good girl gone bag so this monokini would be cute to wear with this on like a casual day with some sneakers the next one is from the C Nate collection. I see, a, I see a large. So this is a lace top. This says it's in a large. And some lace boy shorts. Ooh, child, it's cute. I might put that on tonight. <laughs> Even if it is a large, I'm a fitted today. <laughs> the fuck? And then this is a faux leather crop top with. with the matching faux leather skirt. That's cute. And then, this is a velvet red root dress. This goes all the way down to the feet and honestly, it feels like it's a large, but it says it's a medium. So we definitely don't have to try it on. But this would be perfect for Christmas. So you will not see this one anytime soon because I'm going to save it for Christmas. This is a perfect Christmas dress. Okay. Rose Forever sent me this cute red rose. It says, thank you. And it will never die. Putting it right here by my computer. Because they were one of the first five to do a brand deal with me on my channel. And I really appreciate companies that work with me because I am not like your traditional YouTuber. I don't talk with the YouTube tone. You know what it is. What's going on with everybody? I'm just getting ready to go out for dinner. The last word is always high pitch. Everybody sounds the same. So I don't, I'm not like this typical YouTuber. You know, I curse, I smoke. I'm not made up every day. 
But I do get jazzy when I step out. You know, so like, for more, more than anything, I'm not proper. I can be. I can put it on now, but I can turn it on and off. But how I normally talk my dialect is this. So I really appreciate when brands work with me because they're not. They're telling me that they accept me for who I am. They're not asking me to change, and they know that I can still help market their product and drive uh, visibility, regardless if I'm not the typical influencer that they would work with. But when I'm selling a product, even when I'm selling a product, it don't feel like I'm selling a product. I'm just telling y'all how it is and I'm giving y'all my thoughts. And if y'all choose to go and buy it and, you know, support their brand, it's just because of me being my authentic self and true. These motherfuckers right here is fly. Who sent me these? Because I'm just talking and I don't open the box. So these is from Cocky Me Upscale Boutique. These are dope, sis. Thank you. I told y'all, I'm gonna have a pair of glasses for every day of the year. And this is her Instagram and card information. Good morning, you guys. So, um, today is Monday, February 1st. We have two weeks until Valentine's Day. And, um, this is almost done. Yes, I know I need a um the extended lighter, but it ran out. So this is the Better Homes and Garden Salted Coconut and Mahogany Candle from Walmart. I think this candle is like eleven dollars. It might be twelve, but oh my god, mixed in with that for breeze plug-in that I got with the old it's the old one I went to Target and I literally bought all the ones they had and you know Febreze plug-ins the like duo be like ten dollars a pop so um I bought all the ones that they had I think they had like five four or five left and I bought them all so um Yeah, have y'all ever seen this this garbage can hack? Like this is how you supposed to put your garbage bag, garbage bags on. You supposed to do it like this. You're supposed to cover. Hold on. So you're supposed to cover the whole bag. put it in like that instead of trying to like put it in and then seal it and you know how hard it be to seal it that's how you're supposed to do it i just saw that on instagram and i'm like you know what i be feeling stupid once y'all be coming out with these hex and i be like because i know i'm a genius nobody that think of it so yeah i have been so proud of myself in standing my ground in my self-love and spiritual journey so i bought myself a little gift for the month um i got myself the satin oud body oil um and then i also got so i already put the body oil in there because i wore it last night after i got out the shower and then I got myself the Baccarat Scented Body Cream. And the reason why I decided to get this um, is because I got the Delena Body Cream. And 
The perfume smells so much better layered with the body cream. It's like you really don't even need the body cream. Um, it's like you really don't even need the perfume because the body cream is so fragrant and loud that, oh my God, it just exudes so much like, oh, it, you just really, really smell good with the Delina body cream. And you don't have to spray as much as the perfume. And you know, the body cream only costs like a hundred dollars and the perfume costs like over 300. So it helps you save by layering. So I do find myself like over spraying Baccarat and Baccarat is just as expensive. So I decided to get the scented body lotion so I can layer it and spray less. So if you guys are interested in getting Baccarat, but you don't want to fork over the money and you got the alt fragrance instead, if you get the body cream, oh, it's gonna be a perfect combination because it's gonna make you way more fragrant and last longer you welcome and i will leave my alt link below where you can buy the alternative to bakra and it's a fraction of the cost and it smells exactly the same so they have different variations i have two different ones from alt fragrances i have the gold edition which has a little something different in it so it doesn't smell exactly like bakra but the dry down is very similar and the same um, and then um, the Crystal 23 is a very much skin scent. So it smells exactly like Baccarat, but it doesn't last as long as Baccarat. Baccarat is very light as well. So I, I really don't feel like Baccarat lasts that long on the skin either. But if you layer it with the authentic scented body lotion, you'll definitely get your money's worth. So the guy that supplies my herb if you will he often doesn't know what he's supplying me with so this particular time he didn't inform me that he was giving me sativa so i've been smoking sativa all willy-nilly and trying to understand why the hell i'm so tired all the time and i just feel very lazy but I didn't know that I was smoking for people. So that, that little stash I've actually kept longer than usual because it's so strong and it makes me really tired. Like I don't want to even do anything. So I have to be careful with that. But yeah, I'm trying to drink more water and we're still We are still reading The Power of Positive Thinking by Norman Vincent Peale. So, one of my one of my subscribers pointed out that she didn't like that the author called a black woman a colored woman in this book. And I noticed that as well. <clears throat> but this has been a difficult read for me for some reason. I don't know if it's because of the majority of the book is very like spiritual and scripture based. I do like that because I am on a spiritual journey. So I like it that he can relate scriptures to real life um, instances and help people that way but you have to always look at when the book was copyright and it was copyright in the 50s this book was copyright in 1952 so that's why he re uh, referred to an african-american female woman as a colored woman is because this book was written in the 50s which can also be a very good reason why it's a difficult read i actually had to download audible for this book because um oh child my add was kicking in tough on this one it was kicking in tough this book was not written to be finished in a day like it's just it's just a difficult read like you 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 venture off and i knew i would especially with 218 pages so yeah um the book reading um and review for this one is tonight by the time this vlog airs we would have already done it 
but it's going to be tonight and um yeah if you haven't finished the book that's totally fine you still have as long take as long as you need but the next book is going to be um the next book that we're reading for this month is uh fuck boy repelling and i sure need to read it child because who let me tell you <clears throat> this is a dating guide to less heartbreak and heartaches and this is by one of our PayPal's Mimi T. So this is what we're reading this month. This book is only 105 pages. It's going to be a quick read. I feel like you can get done with this in a week. So if you're still lagging on the power of positive thinking, you have as much time when you finish this when you pick this one up and start reading it. And we will be reviewing this book and talking about this book February 28th of this month. Okay? So, yeah. Um... Let's talk about fuck boys. So, yeah, I never got to finish telling you guys what happened with the situation with the guy that I was dating last week. Um, I know that you guys saw that, you know, I was I was kind of like in a little money honeymoon phase. I was about to say money moon phase. Yep. Um, and I was, but it it quickly ended like an episode on Sex in the City. Um, you know, we spent a week together. It was it was very intimate and and romantic. It was it was true intimacy. I can really appreciate that. It was true intimacy. I will say that. But at the end of the week, after he got back to California, and we were just on the phone talking about communication and trust and being honest with each other in order for this to work because he he did seem like a very emotionally mature person even though he was younger than me i think he was like six six or seven years younger than me he was very emotionally mature so you you know we were just talking about the things that were necessary in order for this to work and he used it as an opportunity to tell me that he has a child on the way. He was like, well, you know, since we're talking about communication, I, I am in honesty. I feel I need to tell you something that I've been wanting to tell you. And he said, I'm expecting. And all my emotional maturity went the fuck out the window. I'm like, you got a baby on the way, nigga. He's like, yeah. But I don't want to be with her and, you know, I didn't want her to keep it, but she wants to keep it. You know, everything that he's saying translated to get out, get out now, bitch, get the fuck out. Y'all know I'm top flight security of the world, Craig. I'm a flight risk in any situation. So I'm like, I, I'm like, I can't do it. Especially when he said she was back. I'm like, hold on. Because he a white guy. I said, hold on. Fuck out it. Is she black? He said, yes. I said, I'm going to head out. I don't want to do it. No, I'm not going to be on the other end of you making another black woman a single black mother. Go make that shit work and leave me alone. Bye. And yeah, I'm just going to carry on with my life because you know I'm licensed to carry. Hey guys, good morning. It is Tuesday morning and um, I'm just getting up. Actually, Anthony called me this morning and he woke me up. So on today's agenda, we had a consultation for a spa out in Orlando for Sculptra, but that quickly turned into, all right, I'm gonna hit y'all up, I'm gonna head on out because 
I realized that they falsely advertised. So when I get on the phone with them, they're telling me that I'm gonna need three session of, sessions of sculpture. And I'm like, baby girl, I done already had two BBLs. I just want y'all to feel in the cellulite. I just came to dance and that's it. I just came to dance for y'all <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Why do I need three sessions? I don't need a booty, baby. I just need you to feel in the flat spots. The booty already is big. <laughs> I'm trying to get the ass to match at this point because I done lost a little weight. So, yeah, I'm like, girl, fuck you. I'm not finna get three sessions. I said, how much is that? $5,000? I might as well get another BBL. I'm not finna have y'all put $5,000 worth of polyelectric acid in my body now. So, um, yeah, that's that. So I'll probably end up going to the place that I originally went to for my um, consultation. They charge $600 a vow. See, I thought this place was like you get six vows for $1,700. I'm like, that's a good deal because I don't even need six vows. So I can, you know, reserve those vows for, you know, future uh, visits. Don't believe everything you see on Instagram. Oh, I am still learning this. At 38, I'm still learning this. I'm not 38 yet, but I mean, I'm getting ready to be 38 in like 42 days. So I might as well say it. Now, um, still got to take down the Christmas tree, but I'm doing it today. So don't judge me. A lot of y'all been saying I might as well make it a Valentine tree. Uh, I see y'all comments. You ain't funny. What the hell I'm finding some Valentine stuff for a Christmas tree? So, um, yeah, and we getting our nails done today. They're still fucked up, but hmm. I, I believe sis will know what to do. When, when I get there, sis will know what to do. So, uh, I have my gallon of water. So, what I'm getting ready to do now is make me some cucumber and strawberry and lemon water so i can like really drink this all day i'm just gonna put a couple of cucumbers in it and stuff just to give it a little flavor and uh help me drink it and as you can see it's um it's labeled so every two hours i should be drinking water so i guess i feel it to the top from from right here oh i'm behind because girl ain't nobody waking up there early so from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m., this damn battery about to die. I'm supposed to be drinking water. Ain't nobody waking up that damn early. Then dip me underway. Kill my mother, slow, but I went slow. Hold me to ice cream for every year. And wash me over until my will runs dry. Send all your sins all over me, babe. Eat it, babe.
just booked my when was my appointment with Nina? It's at 2:45. Okay, so I have good two hours to get ready. So Friday at 11:30, we booked our sculpture appointment um, at Spa and Sydney. So we're gonna just do it here um, because I already had my consult with her. She knows my body. She knows what I'm looking to get done. We are not going for more volume. We are just filling in the flat spots and the unevenness on the left cheek um, and the dimpling and the cellulite on the right cheek. So not, not looking to get a bigger booty child. We are not doing it. We just fixing imperfections because I'm a perfectionist. So we have our appointment scheduled for 11.30 Friday. And what I like about this place, Spot in the City, is that they didn't try to upsell me. The other girl was trying to sell me three sessions. Like, girl, I don't need three sessions, ma'am. Like, I just need two vows. That's it. Like, I don't need to keep coming back and all of this stuff, which I don't mind doing maintenance. Um, because it only lasts one to two years but like don't try to upsell me and what i like about spy in the city and their physician assistant is that she didn't even want to do it on me she was like sis you kind of got body dysmorphia and like nothing's wrong with you you're you have the best bbl i have ever seen so i like that she was not trying to upsell me on the product you know what i'm saying and we're only doing two vials so I don't even have to do it, but you know, I'm getting ready to go on vacation soon for this birthday, honey, and we want to be perfect. <laughs> we want to be perfect in our swimsuits and everything. Oh, what I wouldn't do is go with you. Hey, good you, thank you. The fire's burning for me, you stay all on my mind, a woman, it's easy to see, doom, 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 doom. and oh, oh, let's be fair, I think it's time we clear the air, I've been watching you. You've been watching me, you know, you know, grew with you. Oh, I wanna grow, I wanna grow. Something that you must know. Girl, only knew, knew that you was the sister to talk to me. 
so we are all done i am very pleased with my nails they look so good very valentine's day appropriate um and she was very thorough she did a really really good job she was re she was recommended to me by another youtuber um that i'm cool with and she does her nails and she always has like really nice nails so um i went to her and she was definitely able to you know kind of fix the problem with the one nail that was coming off and um she treated it so very very pleased with her work i definitely will be going back she's probably going to be the one to do my birthday nails which i have not decided on how i'm going to get them yet but they're going to slay that's all you need to know I'm starving. I haven't had anything to eat but uh, water and um, two bottles of insurance. So I took my epitamine and I'm definitely in the mood for like some country type of food. Um, so I'm probably about to go to this diner out in uh, over by North Park Mall. They have really good food, really good catfish and fried okra. So I think, I don't know, I'm in the mood for some meatloaf, but I'll probably end up getting something else. But yeah, I'm about to head over there and give me something to eat. And then afterwards, me and Jasmine are going to the gym. Torches. You gotta get the Baja shrimp taco. Yeah, used to treat my mattress like the ATM. Yeah, bond on my nine, that my favorite scent. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you this right now. If you, if you woke up this morning, nigga, you winning. Look, I got a big amount. I think I'm the biggest out. Got hits and I ain't even put them out. Lady, you can't even put it out.